Lake Ontario job again. To New York. I'm going to walk out the thing. Man, oh man, it gets beautiful every day. More beautiful. Today we got a ship out there. An oil rig. It was a little closer when I got here. He's You can see him out there in the horizon, but he's out there. Gone. A steady wind of about 15, 20 miles an hour. He's blowing right through me. Look at this shoreline. Oh, this is a tree I was at. Well, yeah, coming out here to get some more work done. I've got two more days left out here. Jimmy will be back tomorrow. Uh, my son, that is. And we'll be banging it out. I'm probably going to be here when they get back. I don't think it's going to get bad. But I'm going to put on our side to get this deck done. That's not getting done. And there's my setup over there. I love doing these nice jobs, but man, the drive out here is horrendous. It takes forever to get here. It was literally an hour and like 10 minutes to get here. Pull my card in. Do not spill coffee. Do not spill my Tim Horton. Son of a bean stuck. Most important part of the day, Tim Hortons coffee. Any of my Canadian friends will tell you this is the best. You gotta have your Hordies in the morning. Most people call it Timmy O's, I call it Hordies. Because if I could, I'd hoard the shit. All right, hold on, y'all. Yeah. I'm gonna set up up here for a minute because I got a few things to do to get ready to start painting. You know, I love my job, but. Yeah, too, let me tell you. Having to do all this shit. You know, you gotta set your camera up a certain way. <laughs> you guys can see me here. inside the house with me, so. Some tape going here. Find my knife. You know guys, one thing I found since I lost weight is I have to, uh, I have to wear tighter clothes to stay warm. Isn't that weird? I gotta have tighter clothes because my body I've lost so much fat that, you know, I get cold real easy now. So I gotta wear skin tight things to stay warm. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it works for me. I'm trying to find my dang knife. Where's my dang all night? Oh, here it is. So yeah, that's what I've been doing lately, getting cold a lot. Drives me nuts. My wife thinks it's funny because I have hot flashes. Because I'll get real cold, and I'll get by the heat, and then I get real hot. <laughs> so I don't know. I got a gig this week at a nice place um, called the Holland Rooster. That's it, it's Thursday night, yeah. A couple days. I got a call in my group. I'm skipping group today. I told them I couldn't make it today because I had to work. So I think they'll add it on to the end. I have to go to so many groups, 24 of them, I believe it is. And as, as long as it takes, and I go to uh, three a week. So it's like eight weeks. But now it's going to be tacked on, you know, at the end.
hats open. Jimmy and I couldn't find any tape yesterday. I know I had some here. So I just like to open them all because you never know what you're gonna need. I, see what I do guys at painting at work is I normally buy more of the, the white masking tape, the tan or the uh, beige look, whatever it is, yellow, I don't know. I'm kind of colorblind lately. And I get the blue tape. I get one of these because this sucker costs almost six bucks for a roll of tape. So I use this like it's gold. And on surfaces that I know I'm only going to be leaving the tape on for like you know an hour or two at the most, I'll use the white tape because it doesn't hurt it. It will come off very easily. But if you paint onto this and leave it on there overnight, nice. out of 10 the next day when you peel it off it peels the paint up with it unless it's a flat paint flat paint will stick it'll stick you don't have to worry about that it'll separate very easy but still you don't want to have to deal with it so i'm ready now a prerequisite of being a painter guys is um you have to have a couple oreo minis before you start working and a marlboro light You'll notice the transformation in a minute. This is called rosin paper. Of course, they call it floor defense. I like to use it in certain areas because Take that and I'll roll it out and I gotta put it over the cabinets in the kitchen, tape it out with blue tape because I'm gonna be doing the ceiling there in a minute or two here for about an hour, half hour. And I gotta get that ceiling done and I, if I keep it protected that way it'll be a perfect line for me to jam the paint up in there so I don't have to cut it in. So whoever did it before they can cut it in so I'm not. Um, so forth and whatnot. Should I do um, more on my recovery for Suboxone? Should I talk about flying? I'm not doing the paramotor anymore, but I still love the sport. I watched my buddy Jerry Berea and Bart Berry who was Scary Berry and Bob C, Captain Bob and, and some of the others. I like watching stuff like that. I don't watch Kyle O anymore because he just never really bothered me. He doesn't want to know anybody. He just wants to be a celebrity on YouTube. He's got a great video, he's a great pilot. I like the guy a lot from what I've seen, but his videos just don't interest me anymore. I think he turned me off when I sent him shit. He just never even really responded. A couple times when I asked him, he said, yeah, it was good or not bad. I like the mustard the most. I'm, I'm glad, but I don't know. He's kind of full of himself, I think. No slam, Kyle, but you are. And Jeff and Kurt, I still watch his videos. I like him. I, I like watching the dickhead, Del Shans. <laughs> I don't know why, but I like his videos. Actually, no, I don't. Him and I went at it on uh, Facebook one day. He wouldn't stop posting that I'm, I'm, me and all you guys that are flying paramotors are the devil and you know we're uneducated and we have no clue and it's like i told him i'm switching over to ultralights and he says you are still this and that until you believe that i am the great i'm like no i believe that out for you mom um he's an idiot but man he can fly the paramotors he's so good at it and I see that uh, Scary Barry is now foot launching. I like that, Barry. That's ballsy, man. That's what I'm going to try in the future. I'm going to get me another paramotor in the future. I still got the harness that I bought from Kylo, and I still got my wing. So I can still get a paramotor and do my foot launch out at the hangar at the airport that I got my ultralight going to this Saturday, by the way. So I'm stoked. 
Um, the video I posted yesterday has pictures of my um, my new ultralight in it. It's the video that's at one of the gigs. I think it's called St. Francis of Assisi. It's up here on, on my channel right now. Let me check that out, you know. Another thing, maybe I could do some stories about my Navy adventures. I got some stories to tell. I never saw a war. Never went to war, but I saw a lot of crazy stuff, man, when I was in the Navy. So uh, I'll talk about that too in my videos. But give me some ideas, guys. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe. Leave that comment. Hit the notifications bell. So if you do subscribe, any video I post, you'll be able to see that it's up when I post it. And I'd, I'd love to hear from you, you know. So let me know. Go ahead and subscribe. I'm going I'm to go now. i got to get back to work. And I'm going to take the camera up. I'll have some shots of the hole on there, some pictures and stuff I'll put in this video. So you'll be able to see that. But everybody have a great day. If you're flying, fly safe. Safe guys to us. If you're rocking and rolling, have a great gig. If you're messing with telemarketers, give them help. If you're out with your family, have a good time. And if you meet somebody that's not quite like you, say no to hate and racism. All right? Love you all. I'm Baby Z and I'm out. Thank you.